Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Dank and today we're gonna continue our Grand Ages Medieval tutorial slash um, campaign. So we're here on. Uh, we have to build our barracks. Gonna change it up to one. I was thinking about buying this town. I we're gonna do it. We have lots of money right now. This town would be a great boost to our economy. So we're gonna. Well, we have to start trading with it first. Which we're gonna do with this trader here. So we have to wait a little bit. Always wait. Um, you might ask yourself, okay, I've lost some troops. How can I replenish these troops other than towns? You there. need a barracks to replenish, and especially in the barracks itself. Once it's done, I can show you. You need a stable, which you have to research first. Before that, you cannot replenish it. One way to get around this, again, is to conquer a town by buying it. Because this town already has a riding school and a drilling ground. So buying this town would provide us a barracks that is fully upgraded. It would provide us with the metal, the wool, the wine, the fruit and the grain. Not so, so important. Or should we go up there? Nah, I want the metalwares. Alright, so you're gonna see this guy. Especially the metals will make a lot of money here. The, the grain, not so much. We'll come into split here. You know what? Maybe we should. We need that coal. But now, you know, see how that increased? Because we sold them stuff that they want. Now, I want that coal from Arta. Because that coal needs to go over the split to build uh, the metalwares. Uh, that means I want to increase the coal production just a little bit. I'm going to increase the grain production here again. That should be fine. Oh, we upgraded because our, we have more towns, more businesses. So now we get more research points, we can have more military troops. You could spend them right away, I'm going to save them for now. Alright, so, there's three types of groups. It's a stone, paper, uh, scissors principle. We have the pikemen, the pole arms, which are good against cavalry, but bad. Actually, there's four types, but against the planted, uh, planted weapons. That's all we can build right now. Then you have horses, which are good against archers. Archers are good against plant weapons. Plant weapons are good against pole arms. And then, so you have stone, paper, uh, scissors, uh, lizard, or spark, or whatever. So you have four. So he could upgrade for the riding school and the dual ground if he had the money or the research. So we want the mercenaries. They will cost us four hundred per week. Quite expensive. They can travel two hundred twenty-seven per week. No range of view, fighting power, hit points. This sense they have a bonus against horsemen, and they cost two thousand gold. Well, the game wants us to build it, so we're gonna build it for now. Okay, our building troop is done, because we're going to set it back. Split. Don't like us so much anymore. Uh, we haven't traded in a while. So once this trader comes in with metals, another wine he won't hopefully sell. Probably buy more wine. Yeah. He didn't sell all the metal either, wow. They will like us more and more, you know, the more we trade with them. On doing battle, no commander that you are to lead and not participate in combat. Remember, as your empire shall be one day, so too shall your armies be vast. Okay. You are one man so you gotta send those to Arta. Now maybe we should buy Thessaloniki Let's first. They already like us quite a bit. And they have the meat and the salt and the fish. And then we could sell the pastries or something else. Let's do that. So to, to buy a town, it will tell you. Um, what we can own. You want your town. We need 95% popularity, 50% sympathy. So we actually need to wait a little bit longer. So we're just going to let it run. Send our troop to Arta down here. 
My scouts have found out more about the Norman mercenaries. They are camped to the south of your new town. Okay. They seem to have the support of a nobleman. So we gotta go to the south. Right there. Where we're going. Send our mercenaries. We are the weakest troop you can buy. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Alright, so we're gonna fight here. So the problem is, they are... We are pole arms, they are planted weapons, so we actually get a negative. So I don't even know if we're going to defeat these guys. We'll sign, let me find out. But yeah, I, I would like to buy this town, but I gotta wait till my popularity goes higher. Um, to increase that, we don't need this traitor to Archer done on, so we're just going to do Sophia Thessaloniki. And that's all we're gonna do. We can always see the battles are you, you can't do nothing, you can just wait, send in more troops. But you know, maybe we're gonna win, maybe we're gonna lose, I don't know. I guess we can send our scout in. Where's our scout? Almost there. Send our scout in to help. Just gonna add some more Almost troops to, to the battle. Unfortunately, we can't even watch it because there's a forest. There we can see some of these guys fighting. And I think we're gonna lose. Because they're... Uh, pole, uh, we are pole arms and those are not pole arms. I don't know if that's the purpose of this. Eh, we're still doing okay. Oh, my scout is almost dead. No, 7 out of 10, no mind. Yeah, I think we'll win. Alright, that's our popularity. 98, that's good enough. So we're gonna talk to them. First of all, we're gonna get a peace agreement. Sympathy is now at 60, we need it to 80, remember? And then we're gonna see if we can get it cheaper. 8,500 for an alliance. 70%. So we just need 10 more percent. Uh, let's see if 15,000 gold will do it. So what you want to do is you want to not demand commodities, you want to demand a sympathy. Ah, uh, almost. We have to wait one week to do another. So another 10,000 gold should be plenty. 84. Now we have to wait 8 weeks, so there's only so often you can talk to a town. 6 weeks. Uh oh, it's dropping. It's, it's going to drop over time, so you want to do it all at once. 4, 3... Two, one. Alright, so we want the town. Fifteen thousand might be enough. We might have to raise it. I don't know. We'll find out. I don't want to spend too much. So we have ninety-nine percent uh, popularity and eighty-three percent sympathy. No, nope, they didn't accept it. Double the, your offer. Oof. Thirty thousand. I guess for a town, that's fair. We gotta wait there. How's our battle doing? Oh, not so good. I might have to retreat and come back. Yeah, I might have to do that. Can I talk to you again? Good day. You want 30,000? Wow. And you see how long that battle is? That's one week. So that battle is going on for like, you know, several months. I don't know. I don't like how that's going. The battles are taking way too long. Do you have anything to offer me? Did I offer... I offered... 15, so let's go with 30. And hopefully that's enough. There we go. Got a new town. Citizens of Thessaloniki accepted your offer and placed themselves under your protection. The town is now part of your empire. Woohoo! Oh, they didn't only have the normal barracks. But we can now produce meat. We don't have to research it for now. And the pastries we're gonna get rid of. There's no reason for us to produce pastries. Uh, what else do we want to build instead of the pastries then? We could do cloth. Oh, we can only have wood, okay. Oh, there's really nothing good we can build right now. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna leave it at this then. There's no point spending money on something we don't need. Alright, but we can build another trader. And we should get some more cards in there. So now we added fish, salt, and um, meat to our empire. It needs the wood because the salt uh, needs wood to produce salt, and then the salt can be used for meat. That's a good way to get more towns, more power. Oof, I don't know if we're gonna win this. Might have to retreat and um, recover. I still don't know if my. It doesn't look like my scout is fighting in there actually. Almost there. I don't know. Alright, there's our trader. Uh, let's see, what do you want to do? Go to Athens. No, no. Go to Thessaloniki, Athens. And then go up to Constanta. It's quite a trade route. But we can sell fish there, we can buy beer. Uh, I think that makes sense. Let's wait for one more card. Alright, hopefully you can make money with this. <laughs> 11 against 8. 10, 7, 9, 7, 8, 7, 8, 6. It's so exciting. Yeah, military is definitely a weak point in this game. 6, 5. 5, 5. 4, 5. You're gonna lose this. So we're gonna retreat this guy for now. Good idea. Uh, there's no barracks in Arta, but there's one in Thessaloniki. So we're gonna go in there and then uh, they will recover now. So in order to replenish these guys, you need the barracks. You need the right kind of barracks. So if I had my rider troop, I would need, you know, the riding school. I can build a ship yet here. I haven't even played around with ships yet. Alright, so next thing, while we wait, we might as well look a little bit at our production. So we don't make enough coal, we produce less coal than we consume. We don't make enough wool, we don't make enough beer, pastries, salt. We are not even close to making enough salt. What's that? It says only have two businesses? No, oh, two salt. Six businesses, yeah, I need more salt. I did need more wool, so let's upgrade this. And coal. So let's upgrade this as well. So they're gonna have to buy some wood and brick from Sophia, but that's fine. Alright, we gotta wait till these guys replenish. Our balance is uh, down right now because we just spent 56,000. If we subtract that, we actually make a good amount of money. We can look at this. Weekly production is going up. Here's our income, our profit from trades. Uh, this is every time we, we sell something, buy something instead. But if you look at a 30 year, well, 60 years, you know, it's, it's going up and down. But we still make profit, so that's good. So our money should go up. That's what you want. You never want to go into negatives. Excess production is always bad, but it's probably our wood and clay. I'm gonna accept this for now. Our grain is okay too because the grain we're gonna sell to Arta. At least we should in theory. I would rather have a grain farm here to be honest. What else do you want here? Beer doesn't... I don't know. We could take down the beer here Produce grain here. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take down the bee here. Produce the grain. And then start producing some beer here. I think that makes more sense. Alright, what's our troop looking like? 100. Yeah, 96 out of 100. That's fine. They're gonna go down there again and take care of these guys now. There we go. There's still only three guys. Three guys we can take care of. Easy. I hope. Again, it takes weeks and weeks. 
just to kill this one guy. This should this guy should be dead. There you go. So far, Let's West take this back. Oh. A group of Normans were hunted down and captured. During his interrogation, a prisoner tells an iniquitous tale. His troop was paid off by Barnas. Uh oh, Barnas. To carry out raids in the area around Thessalonica. Should this prove to be true, it means two things. For one, the Patriarch's brother is involved in a conspiracy that can only be about gaining the Emperor's throne for himself. Secondly, uh -oh. the border with the Normans will need to be secured. The very same day, a messenger is dispatched to warn the Empress. Ah, oh, we got our Thessalonica already. Every victory has its price. Alright, yep. Yeah. Archers require barracks of practice range, mounted units, or riding school. So that's where we should buy split. So that's really what we should do next. Uh, where's our military guy? Yeah, go back to Sofia for now to reinforce. Reinforce all troops. Well, to reinforce this guy for now, we're just gonna go to that tent. Oh no, that's the upgrade, uh, experience. But well, you guys can get experience then. Um, have the interest of progressing this. We're just gonna take off the military school and upgrade this in the in Sofia. That way, my riders can reinforce. All right. Well, looks good. We still stay at two hundred thousand. I mean, it's not going up because we're spending a lot of a lot of material. But things take an unexpected turn. The cunning conspirator has succeeded in pulling the wool over the Senate's eyes. And Bonus uh -oh. paints himself as the victim of a conspiracy. He claims it is Leon Vesalius who is after him. What? It's not us. He is also the one who had Emperor Constantine assassinated. Lies. Furthermore, Leon is accused of having a relationship with the Empress. Lies. The weight of all these accusations... Even Eudokia's objections have been rendered Man, It's like a game of CK2, Crusader Kings. Stop to consider the reasons for Barnas' vehement accusations. And so it comes to pass. Oh, you're gonna die? Sentences Leon Vesalius to death in absence. What? Probably gonna go in exile. Esteemed Leon, what's going on in the Senate is outrageous. I do not understand why Barnas is so bent on doing you harm. Found a third town, raise your total population to 4,000. Or to do so, you require a total of 40 businesses. I regret to inform you that I will also have to cancel my trip to Sophia. But so we have to found it. Well, we already had three of So we already, we already done it. <laughs> because we took over a Tesla mechanic. Wholesayer Bentio Gobin has declared war on you. The Normans. I am certain that Barnas had a part to play in this declaration of war as well. I do not believe that the Normans are currently planning great conquests, but they will certainly involve you in battle every now and then. Hence, you should not delay in your search for additional allies in the south. Okay, we should continue the trade agreement of towns of Izmir, Thessaloniki, and Athens. We already done Athens, and is, uh, we just need Izmir, which is over there. Actually, what I want to do, which it doesn't tell you to do, but I think it's smart. I want a uh, military alliance with Athens. So we're gonna go in there. What? Oh. We're gonna submit an offer. 8,500 might be enough. For a peace agreement? No. Not enough? Oh, you wish to right. give me an offer. To 10,000? Yep. Made a good offer. And then for the same amount, we're gonna make an offer for a military alliance. A right. That way, you know, yeah. that will help us in war. And build troops, hopefully. Okay, we wanna go up there to Izmi. Apparently there's a harbor there, which I didn't even see. So we need a nice boat now. And then now we sink in the boat. Almost there. So we did find uh, Izmir. There's all of shattering, missing raw materials, missing building materials. And all that should come in. Uh, we want a trade agreement with you. The transit agreement. I don't think we have to offer ten thousand. There we go. What do you have to offer me? Uh, okay. There you go. We got our trade agreement with Izmir now. Esteemed Leon, 
I will be sending an agent to your province. His mission is extremely important for the future of the Empire, which is several troops will be sent to combat and escort. Once he arrives in Sophia, he will right. you of new information. So we gotta escort somebody, what's this? A ruin. What do you find in there? Whoa, 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 whoa look at this. Bears. You fighting? Yeah. Get on with it. Can we sneak into the runes then? Well, once you kill the bears, we can take those runes over, right? If you don't lose. No eh, that's sneaky. Alright, so he wants us to escort somebody. Uh, we probably should just go ahead and build another troop. And honestly, we just probably should build some um, archers. We could. x mens Pretty effective against pole arms. So that's one thing the game didn't tell you either. So each region has a special unit. So if you go to the Emperor here and go to regions, each region has a special unit. So Byzantium built crossbowmen. Uh, the Balkans built saber fighters, which are plant weapons. The crossbow knight, you know, pikemen, fleecemen, knights, pikemen, saber, fleecemen, berserkers. So, bandits in this area will be saber fighters mostly, which are vulnerable against archers. But then, archers are. Uh, yeah. We should definitely do that. And we can get the crossbowman in Byzantium and Kiev, which Thessaloniki should be part of. So, we're gonna build drug around here. And then we should be able to build crossbowmen. Gonna build one crossbowman right there. Uh, in the meantime, I really want a ton of split. Where's our scout? There. We're practically there. So you, We're practically there. I want to buy this town basically. I'm gonna do the same thing what again. To We're gonna start Ooh, by making gold for peace agreement. See if we can spend a little bit less, nine thousand maybe. Yep. Oh, you wish We're gonna get. Oh, our. Well, never mind. Our sympathy is not high enough yet. We gotta trade more with Split. But this guy. Wait, 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 wait. Escape. It's like a cancel. Well, let's do this. Where's the other trader here? You need more room. You need more cards. Go in there for now. Add two more cards. And then in Sofia itself, we're gonna buy some more cards. Yeah, we need to trade more with Split. I wanna buy this town, but our popularity is not high enough because we don't trade enough. Especially, we don't trade enough with stuff that they want. Alright, so we're gonna wait here till. Oh, it's done. So we're gonna build one troop of crossbowmen. Crossbowmen, oh, they do cost a lot more, but they're a lot stronger. Can we afford that? Yeah, our current main. Nah, let's risk it. We just added a lot more. I think our trade will go up. How are we looking? We still need more salt, more beer, more pastries. So let's let's increase our salt again by two. We need more beer and pastries. What are you missing? Build that up to by two, build this up by two, build this up by three. So all I want to produce a little bit excess honey that I can sell in other towns. So we spend a lot of money right now, but I should hope we should help our economy quite a bit. And then we're gonna escort this guy from up here to down here. Let's explore it. I wanna see what's going on up there. A bandit camp. Where? Can you show it to me where? That's not a bandit camp. It's a tent. Where are the bandits? I don't know. 
It's gonna be somewhere around here because that's where we just walk through. There, yeah, it's a bandit hideout. Ooh, we probably want to destroy this at some point. Too far away. No problem. Yeah. Oh, our troop is done, so Let's we're gonna go. send our crossbowmen over here. And then we take both our military troops to escort this agent. Your running costs exceed your earnings. What? Yeah, look at that. We make great profit. Well, if you look at the 52 weeks, but we spend 164,000 building costs. In the 10 weeks, we make. Look at that profit. Mostly from trading. Yes, we are prepared. And then we're gonna escort him and then we'll put in a cut. Obelisk. And this town is ugly. Let's have a song. It's See what we can find at Obelisk. Heading out. Well, that's a bridge I want. We're practically there. Uh, found a 197 fur. Nice. Let's go. Especially with those crossbowmen, I think we should be more than fine. Let's, have a song. Let's go in the sky. Heading out. There you go. Got a bunch of swordmen. Which, Heading hey, out. attack them. You just ran away right away. Okay. <laughs> fine. Heading out. I guess we didn't even need anything. A carriage oh, we made it. The city of Sophia, and Leon wonders what mission an agent of the Empress could have for him. But as Leon prepares to receive him, he is greeted with a surprise. Oh, is yeah, a surprise! Himself. It's the Empress! He's taken the trouble to travel in disguise in order to deliver information that is not suitable for a messenger's ear. <sighs> I wonder what information that is. Do not stem only from his desire to possess the throne. He is also driven by his jealousy of the man whom the Empress favors. Uh oh only as a political ally. This news confuses Leon, as the Empress has always been out of reach. But with each hour that she spends in Leon's presence, uh -oh. it becomes clear that Eudokia has indeed fallen for the young commander. Uh oh Suddenly. <laughs> oh my god, this is CK2. Oh my god. Ah, oh, chapter 2. <laughs> the Empress Darling. Us. My dear Leon, we shall deal with Barnas together. So we gotta achieve the rank of Baron. However, your family is respected. You only require the right title in order to have yourself heard by the senators. If you can meet them as equals, I can have your case re-examined. Alright, just gotta get, get the rank of Baron, which we need more towns for, and more population. So, well, we're already working with a fine split. Probably want to buy all these towns here in Athens. Or found new towns. Yeah, I can new town here wouldn't be too bad. So we're almost the number four, but yeah, we need way away from Baron. So that's gonna take us a while. I'm gonna put in a cut. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm making those episodes way longer than I want to, just because I'm getting you know sucked into this game. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Let me know what you think.